it's like di differently for both of us, I think, in, in a way. Uh, it was uh, something that Melanie Stokes from uh, Kindle actually first came up with the idea of doing a new Treasure Island, but giving it a very uh, muscular look and approach and feel, just kind of giving it, uh, putting it on a different level to other renditions of the Treasure Island because they, it's been done over the years but it's generally quite tame and family and sweet and this we were just going to, going to rough it up, go back to the origins in a lot of ways but make it accessible for a contemporary audience and in amongst that idea Melanie said and Eddie is that should be a Long John Silver and everyone went okay got it. And we wanted to do stuff that was kind of more Goodfellas, more like what Tim Burton did with the Batman, taking it from this kind of camp thing into a, into an edgy, edgy beast. And 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 I said I will only do it. They they came to me and said, do you want to do this? And and I went, oh, I don't know because I want to see the script. Um, and I said, well, you've got to decide. So we show me the script and I'll decide really quickly, because uh, but it's got to be bad. It's got to be badass. It's got to be. It's got to be, sh give me the bloody money. It's an adventure. I'd say it's a, I'd say it's a, it's a dark adventure. But it, it's like, you know, when, when Tim Burton adjusted Batman, everyone could watch it from kids to adults. So it's not that it's, it's gone off into uh, some place of a, a, an 18. It, it's a, the family got to come, but they've got to, they've got to, oh, some of them got to go behind the sofa. <laughs> The treasure you're stealing, Captain. Ain't yours to steal, man. <laughs> John Silver, sir. I think I could crew your ship by the weekend. We sail first thing in the morning. Hoist the main sail, Mr. Arrow. Hoist the main sail! What exactly is this venture, Mr. Hawkins? You'll make a fine gentleman, Jim Hawkins. This is this is where I've been trying to get to since I was seven, and I'm now twelve. And uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's it's what I like to do, and and I feel the work that I'm doing is getting better. Um, I'm letting go more. I know I know where the centre of me is in this. Um, I tend to start slow. I have the fine wine approach to all my creative endeavours. I kind of start kind of a little bit bumpy, and then. I get my feet under the table and start knowing where I'm going. So it's great to it's great to do this, and it was such a, you know, we were our budget was constricted, but and we had ten weeks of shooting, but it, you you could really immerse yourself in it. And there were a lot of us there doing it in Dublin and Puerto Rico, and it was the coldest of Dublin of Dublins, and it was the hottest Puerto Rico of Puerto Rico. So the difference was insane. It, we wanted this punk element in in the look. We they, if you were a villain back then in the 1700s, you could be a villain at home and you get hung and all that and uh, what a rough life that is. But if you're a villain at sea, the weather gets better and you would hear those stories come back. You could get yourself a boat and then hang out somewhere where they got to find you in the ocean. Uh, it, it just it would seem kind of marvelous if I was a villain back then. I just think I might have taken that option rather than the stay-at-home villainy option when I was going to my career's advisor for villainy. The character of Longin is a great iconic one to play. Um, I didn't want to see the others because I didn't want to see where everyone went. And you do think it's a kind of horror. And Jim Ladd comes pretty much after that. And and there was this. It's not uh, that, by the way. And it isn't. We we do not have horror in anywhere. We do not have. We have the word Jim and we do have the word lab, but never together. And I did him London, because I just thought, I actually haven't, there's nothing in the book that says where he's got to be from. Coming of age, it's really a great, it's everything that was in the book plus. The book is full of incredible relationships, a character Long John. I mean, at the time when that, that the book came out, it was, uh, the critics said, you can't have a character who, who's in the, it was gray. He's, 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 is he bad or is he good? We don't know. And you and you do tread this film, I think, dramatically, very much thinking, I, I, I shouldn't like this guy. I mean, what, what's he doing to this kid? And what, what's the manipulation that's going on? And you okay. realize that, you know, that there's under, underneath it all is, is justifiable uh, rites of passage and for both of them. It's a Treasure Island reboot. It's very hard with something, as Eddie says, that you're locked down into what the other actors around you, because it's all about bouncing off of other actors in, in this case you're not you can't 
let one of the characters go really solo, but we did do some scenes where, I, you know, where I felt there was space. We a couple of scenes where we said, I'd actually say to him in the morning, Eddie, just throw out the lines on this this yeah. moment because it's really like a soliloquy anyway. This moment to Jim, make him laugh, make him or, or warm him, you know, make him feel warm inside. For, for one reason or another. There's some scenes we did change directions on, and yeah. then emotionally you can take it into different places or do it counterintuitively. So, and uh, in the middle of a, a massive battle, in the middle of this at the stockade, Eddie just yelled out, out of nowhere. This guy was screaming with a sword, and he was the, a, a cowardly doctor, and he just yelled out, and he's a bloody doctor. And the crew, we just fell apart. It's, it's in the film. It's in the film. I don't know how, when it popped into your head, but it was yeah. a classic. It's because moment. the Doctor, who's a, who's a weed, Danny May's playing him in a very, a rather cowardly character, and he suddenly finds the centre of his, his courage and, and uh, comes out and says, what the fuck, he's a bloody Doctor! So there are Which those is the logical thing that you would shout when a Doctor starts terrorising them. Jesus, just kill him! God damn it. But um, they wouldn't kill him. Robert ha Hamney International, RHI International, um, is one of the producers. Produ one of the producers, producers. One of the producers on this, and uh, I believe overseas uh, distribution, along with Alan Maloney uh, and Sky in the UK, is, uh, is uh, the other partner in that. And they all put a lot into this to to get it where it is. Yeah, I've worked with RHI before a um, number of miniseries, and they the king of the the big high event adventure mega series right? yeah Christmas in, uh, in the UK on, on the UK know. and 2012 in I believe on sci-fi in America um, and yeah those are the dates that we have at the moment